What's up guys, my name is Soyz, if you like Black Clover content, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. We are rolling to 1000 subscribers right now. Also, make sure you drop a like on this video and turn the bell notification you never miss a juicy juicy video. Let's get straight on the Black Clover video right now. Up. We are doing another collaboration with Mo Moy. What? How do you say your name? Moy. Um. Here we're doing another collaboration that is how William or Yami do as a potential death in the Black Clover story. If you haven't read the manga, this will contain manga heavily, heavily manga spoilers in this video. So make sure you check out uh, Moe's channel. Link in the description down below. Can we get him to his first 100 subscribers on YouTube? Yes, that would be awesome. And yeah, so let's get straight on the video. So first off, let's start with your theories about William. Let's talk about William and then we go to Yami to best for last. All right. So William, I really think that William has the highest potential of kicking the bucket dying because, you know, I think he regrets heavily about what happened with the elf invasion arc and all that. And I really see him sacrificing himself for like the greater the greater cause, you know what I mean? Yeah, like I was on about this to Co Spirit the other day. Like me and him was talking about uh, William and yeah, was the Yami's death. William's story has finished because we've seen his backstory. He has been abused by his stepmother, been abused by the roles. But if you want to deep dive with that, you can't really deep dive with that. There's nothing really to tell about like something else to his story. So I think his story is overall just finished in the story. Yeah. That, that that makes much more sense too like once you have no more story to tell it's like a good sign that a character might be dying or it's just gonna be something like um captain have you read the attack on titan manga i have not read the attack oh i can't spoil I that but um a certain character got yeah. really heavily injured but he still fight fighted but he couldn't use his full potential in the battle or in any situation so it could something happen like that but i want like a major or not William's not a major major death in the story it is a, like a major death but it isn't like a major death like Gammy and that so in Black Clover we haven't got a single major death in the story yet no we haven't the only major uh, death I, I wouldn't really mind William dying because William is a big like named character that was introduced early on in the story so that is like a pretty big character to kill off yeah i wouldn't mind it at all yeah like the only two major deaths we got in the earliest on the story that we got revealed in the backstory in the elf reincarnation arc is uh lumier the first wizard king and blitch the elf Re uh, elf triad leader that's like the two yeah. major deaths that will link into the L saga so this is the spade saga we're talking about something like whole different level than the elf, elf reincarnation are gonna elf saga so this is interesting to see how william will die or heavily get heavily injured or anything like that so yeah that's <laughs> and I mean, also if, if william doesn't die i would like him to like be severely injured you know what i mean probably like missing a leg or like, up no, face. No, an arm, I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea, I just want him yeah. like, um, dead, really. Also, this is another tie-in to William's death, that someone else will happen to uh, die with William, that is Patrick. Patrick and William had a massive, oh. massive relationship in the Elf Saga, and that can affect in this death, because Patrick did want to redeem himself what happened to uh the death of the elf triad and all of that so this is a good opportunity to uh patry and noel nero you know all them heart kingdom people who was training in the heart kingdom with and then the elves like lives like a couple miles away that can help uh noel asta and all of that to save william but it probably cost of Patrick's for life first, like he probably sacrificed himself to save William. Then William goes out as well. Yo, that I I didn't really think about that. Uh, Patrick, you, you know, yeah. uh, since Patrick and William have a really like close connection, there is a possibility where Patrick could come in in the last minute and like save William's life, or they could both die. 
Yeah, that could but be I like a team battle or something like that. I don't know how that would work if we both die. Because Patrick uh, sacrifices himself, Will comes in to save William, but William isn't having it and they both die, then what what, 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 what did that accomplish, you know what I mean? Yeah, like also, let's talk about Patrick's backstory. There's nothing to deep dive in it, but can't even really deep dive into story. The only thing you could deep dive in a story that is involved with Lich. That's the only thing, because I think we will get more of Lich in the story like talk about um after swords and that so get what yeah. i mean so they're only like you probably get like references or like little um scenes of um little lich uh not little lich, little patry in lich's um backstory and all of that so that's like the all only we, all we got for patry's backstory when he was small was that he just didn't like humans which is a little brat yeah that's all that's all i remember yeah like, there's nothing like also there's like i said before with william there's nothing to deep dive in this story there are them two stories are completed. There's nothing you could deep dive with it. If Tabata pulls a massive mind blowing thing, that's Tabata. <laughs> There's nothing changing with that. Yeah, I, I totally see uh, Patry doing something or like wanting to atone for his sins. Because, yeah, like you said, there's not really an opportunity to deep dive into his backstory because there's nothing to tell. Yeah. So, have you got any more theories about William's potential death and all of that? Let's talk about Yami's, Yami's potential death and that. So, Yami, we don't know not a much a lot of about Yami. His backstory is a bit unknown, it's a bit clear. There is only some couple backstories that he got washed up in shore of the Clover Kingdom while fishing, but we haven't seen him training yeah. at the Land of Sun. The only pe person who knows Land of Sun is the Heart Queen and Yami itself. So yeah. his story yeah, hasn't finished. Got, like little glimpses of Yami's past. He, he told his backstory really vaguely in like a super quick manner. So there's a lot of untold story there. Yeah. Also, um, we we need more of Asta and Yami's fights together, like Dante versus uh, Yami and, for, and Asta. Yeah, that fight was we, amazing. Yeah, we need like more team up battles because Asta looks up to Yami as a father figure and amazing captain. Like a, like a proper yeah. father figure. And if if Yami dies too early of the story, and he can, he can. I don't mind, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. But it would be br brutally sad. It, I'll be tearing yeah, up. <laughs> and <laughs> it'd be a massive okay. character development for Asta as well. To see his captain sacrifice himself for him. And saying to Asta, Asta, like, it's probably saying to Asta some final words to think. But it, it's too soon for Yami to die. Because you, ca you can kill off a person with backstory. Without backstory. But Tobata's not like that. He know he has knowledge of other shonen manga who, uh, mangas has done that before. That he doesn't want to do that in his own story. Because you get loads of slander and hate <laughs> against them. But, um, this is, like, there's, there's so much. There's so much they can do do with the land of sun and i think it will probably fall with magicla the curse uh, user or a random devil because like you said said before he told Asta or loads of people vaguely about the story and he rushed it as well so this is an opportunity as well yeah I feel like Yami, if Yami would have, would die, it'd just be like a huge, devastating gut punch to like everyone in the story and people like in real life. Cause like just thinking about it makes me like feel woozy. I was, like, I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, like um, it, it's just too soon in the story though for um, Yami to die. Like I, I can see Yami dying in the future, like when he has the kids with Charlotte or something like that. <laughs> like, you know, like um, have you watched Naruto? Yeah. Okay, you know when Asuma died? It could be the similar situation as that with Yami, Asta, and Noel, or maybe someone else. Maybe Nero or something like that. Like, that could happen like that, but Tobatu can change it up a little bit because he can't copy Naruto. <laughs> like, I see something like that. I've really been thinking about this, like, Yami's death. Because, like, if Yami dies here, it'd be very sad because, you know, like, Charlotte, she's trying her best to get him back. And she, like, in the recent chapter, she was like, I'm gonna show Yami my stronger self, and he ends up dying. Then, like that, that just be like sad to Charlotte, and then like yeah, just Charlotte would just be like devastated, and that'd make me sad. Yeah. Yeah, like 
we know Tobata is definitely going to make Charlotte and Yami as a couple. We know they're going to have a kiss. And especially, this is a good setup for Charlotte and Yami to ask them out. You know how Nog said that the, the secondary plan is for to cut the tree uh, uh, with, 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 uh, physically? Yeah. With anti magic? Yeah. And doing that may cause Yami and Willem to both die. I was wondering, or like thinking about, if Yami actually, I mean Yami, if Asta actually has the balls to decide to cut uh, the tree and if he actually goes through it that'd be like a very decided uh, decisive moment for him because doing that may end up killing yami that he looks the person that he looks up to like just 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 imagine that it's like asa taking us uh yami's and william's life the thing is if he if asa tries to do that you know would stop him straight away because he what? would you know would stop oh, yeah. Asked to oh, stray yeah. away because yes. that's yeah. Williams is his captain, yeah. so that's a massive disadvantage to happen right there. So it is very. Do you think you know would want the devils to come out instead of killing uh, William and Yami to save the world? Do you think you know is like that selfish? I think no. You could tell you know suffered selfish, and especially in this arc because he got he lost his captain. He he was devastated when he lost it. He was acting selfish and plus he's always selfish. That's his personality, but he has another self in self in a, like activated something like that. But I was thinking maybe you know would be like not as selfish to like put the world in danger just to save his captain. Mm, but it is you know though you know doesn't listen. <laughs> You know! Why are you gonna be like, you know, you know! <laughs> you Why never you listens. Know? Man, you know I have to ruin everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it is very hard, it is very hard to predict what's gonna happen in the story now, especially with these two deaths, because it has been foreshadowed a lot, especially with Yami's death, like, Yami's potential death, because if you looked at the new opening, you saw Yami in turned at the back, and you saw Asta, just looking like him, that's like a massive foreshadow, like, why is Yami always his uh, back turned back against Asta? It's always a, it's like a massive death flag right yeah, there. Yeah, he also said that in the ending, right, where uh, where uh, Yami was uh, face, or facing his back towards us, and, and uh, Asta was looking at him, and then they showed his sword, like, yeah. stuck in the ground with his other swords. Yeah, it's like, okay, we know the sword bit is about the, his demon slash sword, we know that he activates that, but the figure of Yami is a massive, ma massive death lag right there, so, uh, I, I, really I don't want Yami to die, because I want him to have, like, I want him to have kids with Charlie, man. So, like, do you have any more theories about William and Yami? Brutal death, unfortunate death, and sad death. I kind of think, uh, you know how uh, Yami and William are in the, that little casket thing that they're in, that they look yeah. like uh, what Zagre came out of? Yeah. I was wondering if uh, those caskets uh, would, like, they'd be engulfed in them, and then a devil comes out of that, those caskets, you know what I mean? That's what I was thinking about. Uh, the casket yeah, that that's what... Exactly the same that the casket Zagre came out of. Yeah, because if you're looking, looking at, uh, at the Tree of Cliff or Ritual, there's no door. There's no door. So, this is, so that's something else right there. Also, yeah. this is another thing. This is a potential that William and Yami won't die. And it's my last theory of that. I could think of my mind straight away. That is, remember Dante said, Dark magic and tree magic is the key to open up the Tree of Cliff Rock. Dante didn't say, uh, tree magic and dark magic is the key to close the Tree of Cliff Rock. Where, where are you going? So, stage one is completed. Say, open yeah. up the Tree of Cliff Rock. Um, if they stop the Tree of Cliff Rock on a certain layer, William and Yami can reverse that ritual and Close it. Oh, so you're saying that William and Yami are the keys to open it, but they're also the keys to close it. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That could be a thing. Maybe. Yeah, because why would you have two keys to open up a clear, clear trickle and won't have another to uh, have us the same keys to close it? It doesn't make sense at all. Yeah. Because that's, that's the only important. way to open. You need tree and dark magic to open up the tree and clip off. So That'd be a horrible key if, it, if a key only opens. Yeah, that's the thing. So that's like the only thing I'm getting it from because I can't think of uh, light magic to close it. I can't think of that because if light magic 
can close it, Dante would capture any like users and like hostage them or kill them with that to try to stop them not to close the trail cliff off. But once the gates are open, doesn't yeah, like, the guy like after all of them are open? So yeah, so after all of them open, but there's a certain layer that uh, like I think it's like the fourth or fifth layer that they can survive. So that's an interesting thing right there. That is the keys. What do they do? The open and close things. Yeah. I've never heard of a key that only opens and doesn't close. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, do you have any more theories about this? Uh, all I'm thinking about is that with those cats in there, I don't know. They're like, like shady. They're shady to me. <laughs> They're shady. <laughs> like, you, if you go back to that topic... I don't think Yami and Will, uh, uh, especially Yami, I don't think he's going to stay knocked out in, in, in there. I think he's trying to, he'd like struggle a little, a little bit in there. Trying to get out. Yeah, like, um, if you go back to that topic, if that happens, it's gonna be a big, big castic. It's gonna be a big one to pour out loads of demons. Actually, they could pour, they could pour out of Yami and William's bodies. Oh, and that's what, uh, eventually kills them? Yeah, yeah, because it's just take, yeah. It's gonna be a very dark panel as well. <laughs> I can see that. Very dark panel. <laughs> you can see like all them demons like pour it, like coming out of their stomach and all that. Yeah, that'd be gruesome. It'd be a very dark panel. Looking at it. If only if it wasn't Yami we're talking about. Yeah. They can come out of William though. I don't know. So, I have no more theories on top of my head right now, but do you have any more theories to talk about? So, I'm going to end the video right here. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Moses. Make sure you subscribe to Moses right now. Can we get up to 100 subscribers right now? Link in the description down below. Like his videos, comment on his videos, and also subscribe and turn on notifications on his videos. Make sure you subscribe to the truly only Soids who's out there. We're road to 100k. 100k? 1000! <laughs> We're road to 1k, not 100k. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, subscribe, subscribe to both our channels right now. Turn the bell notification, like the bell video, and see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. I can hide one, what I feel deep inside right now.